Demonstrators hitting the streets in Washington, D.C. today protesting the partial U.S. government shutdown that's now in its 20th day. Among those taking part in the rally, some of the 800,000 federal workers who are not receiving paychecks. The shutdown was triggered by Donald Trump's demand for $5.7 billion for a U.S.-Mexico border wall. The latest meeting between the U.S. president and top Democrats ended yesterday without making progress to end the standoff. He asked uh, Speaker Pelosi, will you agree to my wall? She said no. And he just got up and said, then we have nothing to discuss, and he just walked out. Today, Trump taking a trip to the southern border, and before leaving Washington, he reiterated that declaring a national emergency is still a possibility. I have the absolute right to declare a national emergency. The lawyers have so advised me. I'm not prepared to do that yet, but if I have to, I will. Such a declaration would redirect money from the Department of Defense for the wall, a move that would likely face swift legal challenges. And remember Trump's repeated promise about who would pay for the wall during his campaign and into his presidency? When I said Mexico will pay for the wall in front of thousands and thousands of people. Now Trump repeating his latest explanation on how the costs would be covered. They are paying for it with the incredible deal we made calls the United States, Mexico and Canada USMCA deal. Obviously, they're not going to write a check. The trade deal still needs to be ratified by all three countries, and Reuters points out the White House has not provided evidence that the agreement would actually pay for the wall. To McAllen, Texas, the site of Trump's border visit where he met with Border Patrol agents and family members of people killed by illegal immigrants. Look, this is common sense. They need a barrier. They need a wall. If you don't have it, it's going to be nothing but hard work and grueling problems. The partial U.S. government shutdown, by the way, if it stretches into Saturday, will make it the longest ever in U.S. history. Now, something else we're learning today. Donald Trump's former longtime personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, is set to testify publicly. You'll remember last month he was sentenced to up to three years in prison for his role in making hush money payments to women who say they had affairs with Trump and for lying to Congress. His public testimony now set for February 7th.